Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I have a bunch of makeup products that I have never even touched and I feel kind of guilty for not even using them. So today I thought I would chuck them all on my face and let you guys know my thoughts. So first of all, I'm going to start by using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I've heard so much about this and it's just a little sample size that I've got, but I received this in my Go Send parcel. I will leave a link to my Go Send haul down below. So I'm just going to pop that over my skin. Oh, it smells like coconut. It smells like coconut milk. Mmm, that's amazing. This is meant to be really good for replenishing your skin. I can't imagine I'll see much of a difference straight away, but it's sunk in quite quickly, so that's good. Next, I'm going in with a brand new foundation. I'm so, so excited about this. Again, it was featured in my Go Send haul. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I'm going to pop this on my Nanshi. Oh, there goes my brush. Buffer brush. Give it a couple of pumps. Pump, pump, pump. Okay, here we go. Hoping this is a decent colour for me, because I did just eyeball it online. But it looks, yeah, it looks pretty good. I actually love the colour of this. Normally, my foundations are a bit more pale and then I tend to bronze them up, but this one is kind of like perfect when you compare it to my neck, so super happy about that. Not as full coverage as my Urban Decay one. We'll leave a link to that review down below. That is literally like the most full coverage foundation I've come across. Um, but it's, it's pretty full coverage, I've got to say. And this was like $10, I think. So what's that, about £7? Okay, so that's my foundation done. Love that. Really, really like that. Next, I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I don't really know the best way to use this. I guess I'm going to pop some on my finger. I got this in the shade, it was either light or medium. Um, I got it in medium. Because I saw Nikki Tutorials. Oh, hello. It's quite thick. I saw Nikki Tutorials use the shade Light, I think, and that was really, really pale on her, and she's she's a fair-skinned lady, so I went a little bit deeper. Okay, so I haven't properly blended it in, but that is some damn good coverage. You really don't need a lot with that. I definitely put too much on there, but I'll blend it down a little bit. Medium was definitely a good shout for me, so if you are my sort of skin tone, then go for medium. Sorry, last imperfection, but you have met your match. Yeah, love this, 100%. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I've used the like HD powder before and I loved it. Um, oh no, it's got one of those pull things. I might have to run away to open that because these nails do not pull on things. Um, but yeah, I've tried the HD setting powder and I loved it, so I thought I'd give the under eye one a go. I might quickly try the brush it comes with, just to give it a go. Doesn't look like it would be amazing. Yeah, screw that. I'm going to use this bigger brush here, swirl it around, give it a tap and dust it under. I'm assuming this is literally just like a smaller pot of the HD powder. That's how it seems anyway, but I like it. I really love this stuff. If you guys are after, like I said, I'm guessing this is just like a sort of smaller pot of the normal powder. If you guys are looking for a HD powder, definitely give the e.l.f. one a go because it's so, so good and it's really, really fine. So it doesn't make your under eyes look cakey or anything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I've got the Contour Spectrum Palette by Zoeva. Haven't touched this at all, but the colours look really, really nice. I think I'm going to go in with like a mixture of these two contouring shades, and we'll just see how we go with that, because one of them's quite ashy, and the other one's nice and bronzy, gliding on quite nicely, no skipping or anything like that. I'm going to go in with the Cool Shade now, just to intensify that a little bit. Now I'm just going to use the bronze shade just to go around the outside of my face. I don't know if you can see that, but the Cool Tone bronzer is quite ashy. I've probably gone a bit too ashy with this, so I'm trying to bronze it up with the sort of more warm tone. But if you guys do like Cool Tone, then definitely a good palette. So even though I've used bronzer, I'm going to quickly try the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to pop that a little bit higher. I'm not sure if this is like... This isn't that dark on me, as you guys can see, but it may add a little bit of sun into my face. It smells good, so maybe it'll just add that to my face. Really, really subtle. But yeah, quite nice, all the same. Perfect for like every day, or if you are more pale than me, it'll probably be a really nice colour if I was not covered in fake tan, but I am covered in fake tan. Now I'm going to try the Frat Boy blush from The Balm. The Balm very kindly sent me a bunch of products, so let me know if you guys do want me to try any of them. I've got like 
some of them Matt Hughes liquid lipsticks, a couple of palettes, um, I've got a highlight, I've got the Mary Lou Luminizer which I've never ever tried so I was going to do that today but there's something else, something a little bit special that I want to try today. Um, yeah there's a bunch of different things so let me know if you guys do almost want like a semi full face of the balm makeup, let me know. Uh, so yeah this is the colour, just like a nice pinky peach blush, oh that's really nice. I don't know why I was expecting it to be more full on, but that's like the perfect sort of blush colour for me. That's like the colour I naturally go when I blush. So now we're going to move on to something that I've wanted to try for probably a good year now. It's very, very mini. It's Becca Opal. I got this in a little kit again with Go Send. And oh, I just so badly want to try this. Worth the wait. So worth the wait. Okay, so I am looking a little bit, not oily, but I look like I need to be mattified in the T-zone area. So I'm going to go back in with the Zoeva Contour Powder. I'm just going to use the banana shade. Just to mattify that down a little bit. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Next, I think I'm going to go in with brows. I don't know why I didn't do my brows first. I think I got a bit too excited about the foundation. So yeah, I'm going to go in with my brows and have three maybe four products to try out today. First I'm going to try out the Legendary Brows by Charlotte Tilbury and it's this tiny little wand. I think it's just a clear one, yeah. This really is a tiny little wand. I guess it's, it's nice enough but I don't really understand why you'd need one this expensive but the brush is nice. Next I've got two products from Benefit. I've got their Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I've got the Cabral. I have mine in the shade 4. So I'm going to start by outlining my brows with the Cabral. I'm going to need a mirror. Outline these a little bit. Okay it's a lot more watery, not even watery, just a lot more like thin than Anastasia. Nice! Yeah I like that. I say I like that before I've even drawn an eyebrow. It's nice to fill in the front with because with pomades they're normally like bam or not at all so this one's kind of something you can build up and create more of a gradient effect with. Okay, pretty happy with that. I'm going to now go in with the Goof Proof Pencil if I can find it. There it is. And I'm just going to fill them in a little bit more. So you've got a spoolie on one side. Again, these are in the shade 4. It's quite a thick nib so... Let's see how we go with this. It's very waxy, which is good. I like waxy brow products. That's pretty good, I'd say. I'd like to fill in the front a little bit more, so I am going to use another product. For the most high maintenance eyebrows in the world. I'm now going to try out this palette from Lottie London. It's the Arch Rival Brow Kit. And I'm just going to go in, I'm going to use the brush that it comes with. I'm going to go in with the deeper shade just to fill in the front part of my brows. I like to use a powder just to set everything in place, especially when I'm just using pomades and kind of more wet products. Okay, so pretty happy with the brows. Think they're looking all right. Next, I'm going to go in with my eyes, and I've got the new Urban Decay, I think it's called Vice Reloaded, and I believe it's only available in Debenhams, but we've got all these colours to play with. Realistically, I'm going to go for the boring ones because I have videos to film today, but let's try them out. Okay, I'm first going to go in with the shade Anonymous, which is just like a pale nude shade that I'm going to pop all over the lid. Nice and pigmented, not powdery, just as you'd expect for Urban Decay eyeshadows. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Laced as a crease colour. Now I'm just going to go in with a Suspend and pop that on the outer crease. Outer crease? Outer corner. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty even. Do I go in with something else? I might go in with some Gash, which is like the red shade. Just to add a little bit of sun and sun. Just over the top. I don't want to pick up too much product because I don't really want... It's kind of like a satiny slight shimmer shade. And I don't want too much of that. I kind of just want to... Get a little bit of the colour and not so much of the shimmer. Nice. Boring colours, but like how they turned out. And I'm going to show you guys the colours quickly because it's not really fair of me using this palette and not really showing you guys all the colours. But like I said, I am doing a kind of everyday look for me. Um, 
yeah you've got like a bunch you've got like an intense gold that is amazing um let me know if you guys do want me to do like a sort of more inventive look using this palette like i said i think it is limited edition we'll leave a link to it down below now this is where things get interesting you guys know how i am with liquid liner i have this black box from zoeva inside it has a bunch of different liners i believe it's like a felt liner liquid liner um soft cold liner and what's graphic guys i don't really know the difference between these two so i'm going to use the cat eye pen which i believe is the felt tip that's good it's one of those ones you can literally press across your eye like that and it kind of does the work for you not the blackest liner i've come across in my life but i may go over the top with the liquid liner and see if that's any better but let's finish off the other eye i'd say that's pretty even so yeah like i said i'm going to go over with the actual liquid liner see if that's any better i'd say that's pretty good not too shabby stuff you're getting better now i'm going to use some lashes i know going all out today i've got the kiss lashes in what are they called is it natural flourish blooming lash i think it's these ones anyway um and these look really, really nice so i'm gonna give those a go okay now i'll try and put those on may need a mirror that's probably a good idea stuff i am bad at gauging this there maybe these look nice not sure my application of them but the lash themselves look good right i'm just gonna wait for the glue to dry on these next we're gonna move on to lips i have the milani a more matte lip cream and this one is in the shade adorable number 10 these smell so good they just smell like marshmallow okay so that's the lips done love this it's dried down super fast then seriously cannot get over the smell yeah thank you for um introducing these to me because someone in the comments in a video way back said i should try these out love it so thank you for that teeth check Okay, I'm now going to go back in with Becca Opal and pop that on my brow bones and just on the inner corner and all that jazz. Oh, I love this stuff. Oh, damn, that's a good inner corner colour. I'm not usually the sort of person to say yes, but... <sighs> okay, so last but not least, I'm going in with some mascara. This is the Ciate Wonder One Mascara. I'm going to pop that. Ooh, that's a nice brush. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm going to pop that all over my lashes. Super black. Super, super black. Yeah, these lashes are damn good. This is when the mascara gets the real test. Let's try the bottom lashes. How big are my eyelashes though? Mmm. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and let me know what your favourite product was and if you've tried anything from the products that I've tried today. Also, if you haven't already, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would vote for me to get through to the final five for the Iron Freedom Awards makeup competition. The grand prize is £20,000, which would change my life and you also get to work with Freedom for a year, which would be absolutely amazing. It takes just two minutes to do and you can vote three times per day per device. So on your phones, your laptops, your iPads, your mum's phone your mum's laptop. I'll leave links to everything in the description box down below and if you do vote for me then please let me know so I can give you a personal thank you. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!